Well, I want to thank you very much for coming out to Supernatural Convention here. Of course, you know, the fans, it doesn't matter if you were in it for a second or if you've had an amazing, you know, was it like seven years on, on Supernatural? Yeah, on I and was off? A, yeah, Garth's been a character since this, the seventh season, so I think so eight 20, years. 2012, 2012. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing time. I mean, when you get that call to come back every time, what's your first thought? It's so great. Um, initially, I turned the show down. It's, really? It's, it was a seven year old show. Um, I wasn't doing TV much back then, right. um, uh, but what a surprise. It, it really, it's, the show, the life, it, the show takes on a life of its own outside. I mean, we, we do this in Vancouver, um, but it means so much to so many people. And my, after my first episode aired, the character Garth, he did really well. You know, people liked him, and I did a convention in Birmingham, England, and it just opened this whole world up. Like, people loved the show. And it's what an honor to be a part of something that means something to so many people. And it's emotional. Like, I, ju I just shot my last episode um, in, in, uh, in November, and I cried yeah. like, when it was over. I was glad that Jared and Jensen weren't there. Um, but, as the, you know, I got the, you know, we're going to miss you. I mean, our family's breaking up. Right. And uh, when I was driving away, I, I cried. Yeah. Well, it's those those dreaded words, you know. And that's a wrap on DJ. Yeah. You know, oh, those. Man. Yeah, that's what things you're I like. I held oh. it together though. <laughs> I, but but uh, yeah, I mean, the other things that people don't realize is that we moved. Like, you go to Vancouver, so you you create like. And I was doing another show there at the same time, and you lay down roots there, and so you've moved your life for a job. And when that job is over, like, and my other my other show is wrapped before this. And Vancouver was, I mean, Supernatural was when I could go back and not only see my crew and cast of, of Supernatural, but my old cast and crew and all the friends I made at my local bar and all that stuff. Right. It's, it's your life. And it's, it, I was really sad. It just all hit me. I was like, I'm not going to get free trips back here to see people. <laughs> well, and, uh, so it, it was this last one we saw, right? The, the, the Garth and the yeah. Luck. So mm -hmm. it was about luck and everything, too. So, yeah. But I, you know what? I think they... It was one of the better send-offs. I mean, you see the happiness, the, you know, werewolves in London, that the, the Garth is going to be okay, life's going to be great for him kind of thing. They wrote such beautiful things for me in my last episode. Garth got to be the hero. Yeah. Um, it really sort of come, it's come full circle. And also, it, sh it shows Sam and Dean that there's a life outside of hunting, that, you know, Garth has a family now, and, and that's a possibility for them, too. I just I thought it was a beautiful way to end the show, and I'm glad they didn't kill me because I, I, they'll probably edit this out, but I <laughs> feel like in two years from now we could all get together and do a standalone movie. Right. I would love that. Right. It would be yeah, just to get the band back together again and play. Well, you know I'm kind of sad because I don't get to see Garth with his grown up kid werewolf kids as well. Yeah. Because that would be a fun little thing as you saw we saw the eyes already with the babies. Yeah. So it'd be fun to see little werewolf pups you know, running around and whatnot, too, so. Spin-off. <laughs> There's always a possibility for mm -hmm. a spin-off, too, so yeah. And also uh, just an honor not to be killed, because everybody gets killed on that show. But to be fair, everyone gets brought back, too, so. Yeah, true <laughs> that. <laughs> We're yeah. Gonna, you're gonna die now, but don't worry, you'll come back next year, it'll be great. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. It's just one of those things that you, it, everyone's a rubber band in the show a little right. bit, too. That's well, true. that's where they love it, though, as well, so. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, one thing I want to uh, go into as well is the fact that you were just on stage. So, what's it like talking to the fans here in Las Vegas at the convention? It's so fun to be on stage in front of this group. First of all, they're a captive audience. You you could be terrible, and they wouldn't let you know it. Um, they they give us so much more love than we can give back to them. It's it's overwhelming, really. Um, but I, I come prepared. I'm a pretty funny guy, and also like it's my dream situation. Like a Do thousand you, are, people are you in a room. Teeth? Like, oh, that's a good anecdote. I'm gonna bring that up. Like, is there is there things you kind of just? I, you know what I do? I, I I'm I, I think a lot in the shower. Like I'll talk out loud. Oh really? Like, all the time about everything. No, not just being on stage. <laughs> Um, most of my epiphanies come in the shower. Oh, same here. It's th there's actually a, there's a study. I don't know what there's a sexual actual theory of shower thoughts because it's just the it's the gray noise that, that lets your mind yeah you're by yourself go out of, I Mo thought of, mostly I, I thought of a billion dollar ideas. So many of them that I've never actually put into play, but that's where they came from as well. So it's because, you know what it is is because you're writing the idea on the steam on the glass, <laughs> and when it goes away, you're like damn it, my idea's gone. <laughs> 
you know what? Shower iPads. Let's make it a thing. All right. Yeah, just make it a. That's a billion dollar idea. Billion you had not in, in the shower. Shower iPads, ready right. to go. All right, I'm on it. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, one thing I want to ask too. You know, uh, the, the the convention here, as we can tell, is very very uh, female heavy as well. Does it make you feel like a rock star a little bit too? The girls are screaming for for DJ up there as well, right? No, it, you know what it makes me feel? It makes me feel bad for the guys who are with them because a lot of them look like they were dragged here. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of the male fans too. I'm one of them, so. Yeah, but the other thing is, it, it's a, these are like, because you see the same people over and over again at these yeah. conventions, so you know them. So it's like, they're your friends. Right. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't find your, attractive, your sister attractive. Like, I, these, so many of these people I know through social media. Right. And, like, I will see over and over and over again. Like, I know them on the first name basis. It's... It's, all, it's not always nice if somebody's screaming your name, but you know, I really don't even, I know the show's skews heavily female, but oddly, unless it's fan fiction, have you ever read, fan, have you ever read any fan fiction? I brought it up in interviews with Jared and Jensen before, but I've never gotten too far into it because I feel like if I know it, I'll picture it when I see that person in real life, and I'm like, I don't want to picture that. I, I have a photo oh. of, my, on, of them on my phone that somebody <laughs> took, it must have taken a long time to put this together, oh, no. but it's a fan fiction photo of, some not great things. Um, but aside from that, the show really is not, there's not a big sexualized component to the show. There's right. a lot of feel good. Right. So I don't feel like that, like, I get, I get a lot of people, like, I think you're cute or whatever, yeah. but not like I want to jump your bones. You know okay. What I mean? There's sort of like a G rating that we have going on. Right. Like, I'll drop the F bomb a couple of times during a panel and yeah. then be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the Garth spinoff. That's when you get to the. That's when you get the, 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 the newer female who wants to jump your bones. Maybe. Yeah, I, that's, can't, I can't wait. That, that's where that's coming out. Uh, you know, and that's one of the fun things about these conventions too. And maybe another somber moment as well is the fact that as the show ends, you know what? Uh, what you get to do is share a moment with these people, and that's something that goes with them for years. Right. So is that something you kind of cherish when you're here at this convention? You do autographs or signings or even just shake a hand? Well. The thing that I, I realized pretty early in my career is people are sharing moments with you that you're not present for. Like you, you, you do a movie and that movie stays the same age. You're the same age in that movie forever. And you know, somebody works in a, fa a factory in Tennessee could pop that and they're sharing experience with you that you had 10 years ago. And so when I do conventions, I realize that people come preloaded with experiences they've had where I wasn't there. So it's my job to sort of be present for them. Like I don't drink when I'm doing these. Yeah. Um, I go to bed. Because um, people come from far away or to see you and, and you owe them 100% of your focus and attention. Right. Um, now just say, you mean you don't celebrate. When you say drink, it means you like you're an alcoholic the other no, 362 no. I, I, days a well, year. Well, I mean, but we're, no, but we're all, <laughs> we're, these are also conventions or reunions for the actors. Sure. Um, because when we're, you know, we all don't live in the same cities and so, you know, we. When you meet, when you go out with your friends, you want to have some libations, but I don't. Afterward, my last, the moment it's over, I'm yeah. like, let's go have some fun. But no, it, it's <laughs> it's a great, it's a wonderful thing that people show up to see you. Like right. my life has turned out so much better than I ever anticipated it would growing up in Tennessee, and I'm constantly aware of that. And the fans are the biggest part of that. Yeah. They allow me to do what I do. No, I mean, from modeling to acting, yeah. you produce some stuff yeah. as well. I, I, I mean, just opened a production company. I'm really excited. We just sold our first script. And yeah, so what, what is the next step as we close this out? What's the next thing for you that you're really excited about for 2020 or 2021? I mean, I, well, I'm producing a movie that was written for me 12 years ago, and I'm too old to do it now. So oh. I'm going to see it made. My, my best friend Can De Niro, the, 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 the CG effects, and take it all down? I care too much is about it. There there's no baby face left in there, is no, what you're saying? No, no. You know, uh, I, I care too much about the script to do anything crazy like that, but, um, and then I just tested for something yesterday on ABC, we'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to shoot a show that doesn't shoot in Los Angeles or in, um, or in Vancouver. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I want to be home. So West Coast, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love it. Well, we thank you very much. We hope you enjoy the fans and the time here. I'm already having a great time. Yeah, and hopefully Las Vegas as well. You know, you're, you're in the city. There's more than just the convention floor. Remember that. I'm so. telling you, I'm two days here to work, two days of play. Okay. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, well thank you very much, and uh, thank you for many seasons with Supernatural. Thank you so much, brother. Pleasure.